Hi guys and welcome back to Skyrim Mod Comparisons. So the mods I'll be looking at today are ones that add primary needs into the game. So the two mods are Realistic Needs and Diseases and Imsk More Complex Needs. So the first mod I'll look at will be Realistic Needs and Diseases, so off we go. So this mod adds four new features which I'll explain now. So the first one is Hunger, obviously, and then Thirst, and then Sleep, and then finally it's the new Diseases. So when you first install this mod in order to activate it, you have to have Sky UI and the MCM menu. So then you just click Start R&D, and then off it will go, and it will start the scripts. The MCM menu is really great if you want to customise the mod, because it's so many options, it's perfect. You can just basically change it so that you never get hungry, and only get thirsty, or something like that. Which is always nice to have in a mod. You also get given two new powers, which is uh, Drink from Stream and Check Needs. Now these powers do exactly that, so when you press the hotkey that you assign check needs to, which I set mine to M, basically it will come up with a little thing in the top left, a message telling you what you need, whether you're hungry, thirsty, sober, whatever. And the drink from stream hotkey allows you to do that exactly, so you can drink from any water source anywhere, but be careful because a lot of water has diseases. My character here is 100% resistant due to him being a, a wood elf and having a couple of uh, enchantments. Which of course is something you probably want to do as soon as you install this mod, because some of the diseases are very deadly and can kill you within hours um, just from drinking from streams. Um, and some water though is completely fresh and you won't get any diseases from it and it will quench your thirst. But other times, like the water in Riverwood and the river there, um, you will just catch a disease from it instantly. So every time you eat something or drink something, the message will update telling you exactly whether you're still thirsty or you're still hungry, and you can just keep doing this as long as you do one item at a time, you can never go over the limit. But if you eat too much, you become a glutton, and you have a 30% speed reduction, which is not nice. You do not like running around slowly everywhere. It is absolutely horrible. So you can fill up your bottles in a stream just by clicking on them um, while you're standing in a water source, just like when you do the drink, drink from stream hotkey. Um, and then basically if you want to fill them up as, as well from um, like a tavern, just go up to the barkeep and ask him to fill up the bottles or he'll give you a, f a new bottle of water for 3 gold and 10 gold, which is pretty reasonable. So you can pretty basically go anywhere and get all the uh, water you need. There's lots of new food items that get added to the game, lots of new soup and lots of other stuff, um, which you can all make at um, a cooking pot, which I found very difficult to find one anywhere near Solitude for some reason, and I had to kill off a whole Stormcloak camp just to be able to do it. It's not what I wanted, but that's the way it ended up. There are also harsher penalties from alcohol in this mod. If you drink too much alcohol, you will literally fall over and just start going all over the place. You'll have beer goggles and it is a nightmare. The only way to really get rid of it is to drink herbal tea, or to just sleep it off. So while I stagger back home, I'm just going to say that this mod's absolutely perfect if you just want to add a little bit more immersion, but not too much, so that your just brain just explodes from a load of new information that you have to take in. But if you think you can handle more than that, then this next mod will be perfect for you. So yeah, on to Imp's complex needs. So when you first start up the mod, you'll get this wonderful greeting message. But what this message is basically saying is you need to go into your food menu and activate IMCN Vitality. This will then start the mod and everything will be working fine. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is um, a lot of options to look through because, as the title suggests, it is very complex. But I'm just going to cover the bare basics because I covered everything this would end up being a 20 minute video, which I really don't want it to be. So when you eat something now you get a new menu, basically telling you exactly whether you need to eat it or not, how hungry you are, how many calories it has, you know, whether you're thirsty, and lots of other cool things. So then you can basically click eat and it will just eat it normally. And when you exit, it will play an animation of you eating, like R&D does, apart from it will actually force the animation. So um, in Realistic Needs and Diseases, if you use it, um, you have to be in third person when you eat something. But with this mod, it will literally force you into it, which is good because it means that you can't eat in combat, which is quite immersive if you think about it. You wouldn't just stop in the middle of a fight just to have a munch on a bit of bread. So, you know, it's fair enough. And of course, the same applies with drink, it's the exact same thing and so on, but I think the best part it has to be the character statistics, so you can see your character's height, weight and all the rest of it, and it will change over time and you can reset your stats and everything, which I think is super immersive. Another thing about this mod is that if you eat too much, it will literally not let you eat anymore, it will completely stop you from being able to eat, which I think is pretty useful, because the problem with R&D I have is that I always end up moving too slow for ages and it does end up being a real pain. One of the most disgusting features of the mod is the fact that you can actually feast on people's corpses. 
Now, I don't know why you can, but whatever, the mod author put it in, they can do whatever they want, but it's rather odd. You can also butcher the corpse, which will basically allow you to collect human flesh and stuff, and like, you know, like the alchemical ingredients. Now, you do get more food items like you do with R&D. Um, not as many, actually, but still quite a lot, which is always good. When you sleep, you seem to get no message whatsoever, so I guess you just have to go back into the menu and check how many hours of sleep you need, which I think is another really cool thing, is it shows you the exact amount of hours you need to sleep, which is quite useful. So if you do enjoy more complex mods like this, this will be perfect for you. It's very complicated to use at first, but I got the hang of it after less than an hour, so it shouldn't be too hard to get used to. Um, I may start using this myself for a while just as a test to see how much I like it, but at the moment I still prefer R&D. But anyway, more about that in the conclusion. So the one I prefer, like I just mentioned, is Realistic Knees and Diseases, and that's mainly because of the simplicity of it. It is the one I've been using the longest, and I'm always biased towards the mods that I used first. Um, and I just really can't be bothered to learn everything about Abe's complex knees, it just seems to take too much time. Um, although, I could learn it, which I might, and see how much I like it. Um, I probably would enjoy it even more, to be honest, so I might give that a go. So for now it's R&D, but who knows, my verdict might have changed in, say, three months, four months? So yeah, anyway. Luckily for you, this may be the last video with this terrible mic that I'm using. Um, I'll be getting a new one very soon, hopefully. Um, so next video you should be able to hear a lovely, crisp, clean microphone. So hopefully you'll be joining me for that video, and I'll see you in another episode of Skyrim Mod Comparisons.